Let the wicked forsake his way, and the unrighteous man his thoughts, and let him return unto the Lord, and he will have mercy on him, and to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. Hello everybody, hope you're having a blessed Sunday, Sunday fun day. You know, we can see with everything that's happening in this world that God is starting to pour out his, um, well, he hasn't poured out his wrath yet onto this unrepenting and unbelieving world, but he's definitely giving us clues that he's about to do something big. And I'll, I just want to remind you that in Hebrew there's a word called Kodeshim. Kodeshim means to be set apart. We are his peculiar people. We are we are set apart. And we are not forsaken. We are not abandoned. He'll always remember us. Even though we're surrounded by all this evil, by all this wickedness, by people whose conscience has literally been seared like a hot iron, like a like a piece of tuna on a hot skillet like the nerve endings have been seared so they've been given over to a reprobate or a delusional mind and they no longer know right from wrong evil has become good good has become evil they no longer know what to do because they are literally in their beds at night, just thinking up evil schemes. Well, I just want you to know that in the midst of all of this, that God has, has us in the palm of his hands. He has us in the palm of his hands, close to his bosom, under his breath. And nothing, nothing can ever snatch us away from the love of God our Father because it was Yeshua HaMashiach who who presented us to him as a present we have so much to look forward to and I just wanted to show you a wonderful Bible verse that demonstrates this that yeah we live in a very wicked perverse world where things just seem to get darker and darker by every day uh, there's more and more judgments that are coming but one day one day we're going to be rescued out of this and this is biblical proof check it out so here we are in 2 peter 2 starting in verse 4 this is all about sodom and gomorrah and um how it serves as a reminder to the world that god is going to Pour his wrath onto this unrepenting and unbelieving world of fire and brimstone. This is a reminder. And you have to remember that Lot was Abraham's nephew. And Abraham was counted righteous because of his faith. And Lot, although he was a sinner, it's just like we're all sinners, right? He was still counted righteous. And this is what happens to people who are living surrounded by by wickedness by perverse things by evil things but God does not forget starting at verse 4 for God did not spare even the angels who sinned he threw them into hell in gloomy pits of darkness where they are being held until the day of judgment and God did not spare the ancient world except for Noah and seven others in his family Noah warned the world of God's righteous judgment. So God protected Noah when he destroyed the world of ungodly people with a vast flood. Later, God condemned the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah and turned them into heaps of ashes. He made them an example of what will happen to ungodly people. 
But God also rescued Lot out of Sodom because he was a righteous man who was sick of the shameful immorality of the wicked people around him. Yes, Lot was a righteous man who was tormented in his soul by the wickedness he saw and heard day after day. So you see, the Lord knows how to rescue godly people from their trials or their afflictions, even while keeping the wicked under punishment until the day of final judgment. That's what's happening right now. He is especially hard on those who follow their own twisted sexual desire and who dis despise authority. These people are proud and arrogant, daring even to scoff at supernatural beings without so much as trembling. So, there you go guys. Keep reading the Word of God. It's going to reveal much to you. Pray for discernment. Pray for revelation. But above all, wisdom. Boldly approach His throne of grace. Give Him thanks. Praise Him. And ask Him for what you need. And He will make your path straight. He loves you. And He's going to show that. Big time. Very soon.